Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Youth Circle, hosted by the Youth Bridge Foundation. My name is Sali Matasisi, and I'll be your moderator for today. As you may know, on Saturday, July 13th, former U.S. President Donald Trump hosted a campaign rally in Pennsylvania, where an assassination attempt was made on his life. While fortunately, the former president only sustained minor injuries, two other attendees of the rally were reported injured, and unfortunately, one lost their life. The shooter was identified as 20-year-old Matthew Crooks. Crooks was a first time registered youth voter. This aspect of Crook's identity is especially important to examine within a Ghanaian context as we head towards our elections this coming December. By engaging with the youth themselves, the Youth Bridge Foundation, informed by the Youth Advisory Board, seeks to open up discussions on the mental health of our youth, how political malice informs electoral outcomes, and how we can nurture our young population within political parties, such as the NPP and NDC. Today, I have with me two first-time youth voters, and I will now give them the floor to introduce themselves. You can go first. Okay. My name is Presla Meza. I school at the University of Ghana, studying political science and philosophy, and I love to read a lot. My name is Charlotte Edujimfoa, a second year University of Ghana student studying political science and geography. I love to listen to music. Okay. Welcome to both of you. So my first question will go to you, Priscilla, okay. if that's fine with you. I want to know more about what you think of the trending news on Thomas Crooks. Okay, so I think Thomas Crooks used um, personal violence. I mean, he took it personal to act on it. You mm -hmm. know, there's so much pressure among the youth. So as you mentioned in the preamble, he said mental health. So yes. see, there's so much stress and pressure among the youth, such as unemployment, um, economic, I mean, financial problems, like um, it's stressing a lot. So I think he used that and made it personal and acted on it. Yeah. That's what I think about it. Yeah, I think it's important that you touched on mental health because across the globe, young people are especially hurting, you know? Like, it's difficult for them to express their opinions. And unfortunately, crooks took the violent route. But there are other ways to deal with mental health issues. And maybe we can explore that more. OK. Yeah. As for you, Charlotte, how do you feel about the situation? Well, it's very common for you to feel passionate about political issues. However, their actions towards these issues should be done in a constructive manner, not violently. So yeah, he could have sought other means to make his, um, his, sorry. He could okay. have sought other means to make his intentions known or his worries about the economic crisis or the political issues confronting them. He shouldn't have sorted to violent means attempting assassination on the former president. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's why discussions like this are so important, because it gives the youth constructive ways to express their opinions and get involved in politics, which we all need. Okay.